So good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we start another bathroom remodel. This one's gonna be slightly different than the ones we've done before because we've got actual square walls instead of any rounded walls or any kind of craziness. But um, it's gonna be your typical bathroom remodel, tearing out the old tub. We're actually tearing out the shower, if you can see right behind me, that whole shower's coming out. And she's not sure if she's gonna put a wall here yet with some shelving or we're gonna build a wall and flip that shower and make a walk-in closet. So. Uh, she hadn't decided that yet. We're gonna talk to her hopefully today or tomorrow and get that figured out But anyway, this is what the bathroom looks like uh, Before any demo was done. I finally started the vlog and took before pictures before we touched anything So you can kind of see what it looks like before I'm gonna try to vlog this before do a lot of during and then after like we normally do But I'm gonna try to vlog a little more than normal just so you can kind of see how to and behind the scenes and things of that nature So anyway, this is what she looks like. It's a corner jacuzzi tub it's really not bad looking. I wish I had somebody to give this to you because it's in really good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. They just want a big walk-in shower. So we're going to square these walls off right here. This is a 45 degree. We're going to bring it out and square it off like this. And you're going to put the doorway here. We're going to have up here, we're going to have a window on this side. And we're going to have a window over here on this side. So it's going to look real cool. And then this shower here is going to be completely gone. Again, we're not sure where we're going to put shelves back there or if we're just going to take that out and wall this completely off and then flip it and make a walk-in closet on the other side so anyway let's get it started Butter knife to cut this? So we're tearing the shower apart, and it's always nice to see when other builders do things the right way. We tore the shower seat and back wall out, and they actually fiberglassed it. I haven't seen that in years. They actually fiberglassed in the seat. Check that out. That's somebody that cares about their shower not leaking. I haven't seen that in a long time. I like it. All right, y'all, we got everything demoed out today. Actually, got done pretty early. It's about 11 o'clock, and we hustled. Got it all knocked out. You can see behind me that shower is pretty much completely gone. We've left a few pieces in there because Steve's got to bring his little skate device tomorrow so we can move that. That's probably about a 200-pound thing right there. It's about 200 pounds, and we really don't want to have to pick it Carpet up. So. Dolly. That's not 200 pounds. Carpet dolly, skate, whatever. But that's what she looks like now. Tub's gone too. Haven't removed it yet because we're going to wait on the same tool, but it's out. I'm going to try to give this tub away, actually. I'm going to post it online and see if anybody wants it because it's still a really good tub. It's a uh, jetted jacuzzi tub. So hopefully somebody can make use of that. Anyway, we're done. Well, for today anyway, so... Peace. The next morning. So what we're doing this morning is day two of the bathroom remodel. We're taking the old shower and gonna basically convert that into an exterior walk-in coat closet. What I'm doing this morning is I'm cutting the piping. We're gonna cap the piping off in the wall and we're gonna cap the piping off on the floor. So this is PEX piping. It's not your typical copper. So I'm using these really cool cutters. One of the most simplest jobs is PEX. You cut it. Crimpers go on, it crimps, you're done. There's no sweating involved, no flux, no heat, no anything. So it's, it's a really cool process. So you start by just cutting the pipe. You're gonna probably have a little water come out. Oh, actually none on that, very nice. Same thing on the cold water. like that that cuts so you go back with these little plugs little plugs look just like that and these crimp rings look just like that and this crimp ring slides over the pipe this little plug goes down there just like so position that crimp ring wherever you want it Take these really cool crimping pliers, 
and that sticks in that little deal. Crimp it until it clicks and stops. That's it. Real simple, no sweating involved, no anything. It's a very, very fast process. Allows you to work very close quarters. You don't have to get a torch in there. You don't have to put a heat shield behind it. So it's really nice. All right, so we've got our plumbing pipes done, the hot and the cold, that's all capped off. Now we've got to cap off the floor drain. This was an old floor drain from the shower. What I'm gonna use is this really cool tool that has little teeth and it rotates with the drill. You stick it down inside the pipe and it actually cuts the inside of that pipe flush because you can't get a tool down in here to cut very well. So this little thing right here gets down there and cuts and it takes a few minutes, but it does the job and does it really well. Always make sure your bit is screwed on tight though. You don't want that falling down the drain. job so much easier. Steve's having problems getting it in. Steve already had problems getting it in. Alright, so here we go. You get your nail done? done. We dug our hole all the way down. They only have an inch and a half pipe running down on this one, so we're going to have to do an inch and a half to two inch, basically a reduced circle, flip it around. Inch and a half coming up to two inches. Uh, so now we got to cut the concrete, get the concrete cut out, because we got all the doors taped off. So we're going to get the concrete cut out and probably jackhammer after lunch and start the drain after lunch, because we have to go get parts. But this is kind of what it looks like so far. We've got the drain out. Hose there. Got it dug down. Got to cut the pipe all the way down there to the bottom to have the proper slope. We're going to cut this channel out all the way down to that mark right there. We're going to cut this channel all the way down. So, good times. Disappears. Woo. Onward through the fog.
you know, just like, just kind of drain cut. If I can get all this concrete jet hammered out, that's going to be a fun part because we've got about four to five inches of concrete to get out of there. So, it's going to be good times. Alright guys, so we got the trench dug. As you can see here, it's completely chiseled out. Got our first layer of pipe in there. Now I've got to come back and cut out the old drain. And then we're going to have to dig down even a little bit more because we have rebar and we have tensioner bar in the way. So we can't run the pipe at the level we want it to. So we're going to have to actually go down a little bit farther. So I'm going to get this pipe cut off real quick. I'm going to cut it with the sawzall, the rough cut, and then we'll come back with the real saw, with the drill saw, and actually cut it exactly where we need it to go. Yep, once that's pushed down, that'll give us a nice little rise. Perfect. That'll work. So we're gluing these pipes together now. The glue PVC, generally with drains, you don't have to prime it, only on the pressurized pipe. But I like to take that extra precaution just in case. So Hit the inside of these pipes with this purple primer, let it dry for a few seconds, putting those together. I've already got the drain down on the floor done. Went ahead and got that wrapped up while Steve was out getting stuff out of the trailer. So now we're going to put all of this together. We're going to put this piece, this piece, and this piece together, put it in the hole, and put everything on that final joint right there. So I use the Odie Rain or Shine Blue Glue, because it don't matter if it gets wet or if it's wet when you put it on. I've always used and it seems to work well. So. You want to butter up both your joints. Try not to let this stuff pull as little as you can. You got about 30 second working time where this stuff really starts to set up. Get your pieces together, push, give it a slight twist, and then hold about 15 seconds. If you don't hold this together, it'll actually push that pipe back out and that breaks the joint. So you let it sit for about 10 or 15 seconds. Everything's set up. And there you go. Nice, good looking joint. I need to make sure I can get this in here before I start gluing everything together. It looks like we'll be able to hold here with this joint on once we'll get all of it in. It'll work. Phone's got to rain right in the middle of all this. Hold that joint real tight, let it sit. And it's good. So we're putting this final joint in now. Gonna get this all nice and glued up. It's gonna be a tough one because you get a really, really, really tight fit down here. So got our marks lined up. Nice and good squeeze in. Check our line over here. Good. Pretty good this way that way. Hold that in for a few seconds. I get so excited doing these jobs that I pee myself. I just can't contain it. It's terrible. I gotta go home and change my clothes now. So we have a product tip for you. If you buy the bucket vacuum at Home Depot, the little $25 bucket vac, 
It does not fit on little buckets. That bucket head right there does not fit on little buckets. This room here. A regular size all boy home depot bucket. Pro tip of the day. Not sure if y'all can see, but this is why we don't bring good cameras into the job site area. This is my GoPro. We use it for a lot of the time lapse stuff and just general stuff that's going to get dirty, but this thing is absolutely disgusting right now, covered with junk, just dust and everything else. So that's why the camera we're shooting on does not go in, but yet the little GoPro, because I can wash this off, I can run that under water and clean it up, but man, that is filthy. So hey guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog right there. We had a great day at work today, yesterday and today. We got a whole lot done. Uh, we're waiting on some of the plumbing fixtures that she is going to bring back to us to actually go on the wall. She's adding um, a three-way uh, water valve that's going to go to basically, it's going to have a hot and cold, so your temperature control. Then it's going to have what I would call a traditional shower head. And then she's added the rain head, which is actually going to go up to the wall and come down from the ceiling, um, which is something that we haven't done in a while. I don't think Steve's ever done it with me. I've, I've done one many years ago that was huge, and this one's a little bit smaller. So it's not going to be on that scale, but it's still going to be fun to do. It's going to be interesting, uh, challenging to say the least. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I did it a little differently than I would normally do it. Uh, simply because it's more hands-on, you know, kind of how-to behind the scenes. If you guys enjoy that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, hit that like button. If you have a friend that might be interested in this kind of stuff, have them subscribe. I'm going to try to do more of this actually because uh, I've had a lot of positive feedback on the other videos that I've done with my construction stuff. People really like to see behind the scenes and not really a how-to per se, but kind of what we're doing and how things are done when you knock down a wall, what's behind door number one type of thing. So anyway, like I said, if you like this video, awesome. I appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Yeah.